What's up? It's your girl, Mary Chris, and it is time to move. And today we are doing it with our resistance tube band. So I have a medium tension one. If you have some options, have those on standby and then switch them out as we go. So today we are going to go through seven moves and we're going to go from start to finish and then finish to start. So it's going to be this whole pyramid. It'll be fun. Okay. We'll make the climb together. We're going to warm up as we go. So let's go. We're going to start with the band feet hip width apart underneath the arches of our feet. Let's go ahead and rack on our shoulders right here. And then what we're going to do is going to rotate side to side. Okay. And we're going to rock that out for 40 seconds. So keep the tension tight, shoulders dropped, brace your core. Here we go in three, two, and one. So we're going to go side to side. So the big thing here as you're going through this is that you're not speeding through, but you feel the crunch right in your obliques as you're moving side to side. Good exhale. This is good trunk rotation, right? Getting us ready. We've got some fun variations, right? This is your workout if you need to get going, but just short on time. So working 40 seconds, 20 seconds rest. Good, push it out. We're getting there in five, in four, three, two, and one. So next up, this is going to be interesting. Okay. I'm getting used to practicing it too, but we're going to come down to the floor. I want you to take your band behind. Okay. And I want you to hold on to the sides right here. You're going to find the tension that's right for you. But what we're going to do is we'll have it here. We're going to run for eight. Okay. Don't know if that was eight, but you'll count eight, right? And then you'll come into that push up, and then you're back up and then you drive. Okay. So take your time. This will be fun. Warm up as you go. Three, two, and one. So start with that run. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Make sure your arms are under your shoulders. Press down. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If you need to, drop to your knees, come down, come up slowly. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, yeah. Feel that tension with that band. Good, we got this. See if you can run it out. Maybe get one more in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Take it down and time. I will say that is more challenging <laughs> than I thought, but I like that we get to work out together because I also get to challenge myself, okay? Next up, I want you to take your band under that left foot. Okay, bring your hands up here. We're gonna start together and learn it in three, two, and one. So back of the palms facing me. Come into that curtsy, come up to standing, drop down, bicep curl. Re-rack, so we do it this way, that way we still have that tension on there. Whew. My heart rate uh, catching up from that other one. Good. Get ready to switch sides, three, two, and go ahead and switch your feet. Drop it down for a second if you need to, up. Take that knee behind that ankle. Come up, you're standing tall, hips tucked core tight. Good. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay. Fun combo coming up next. Again, I'm going to let go of the handles. You're going to grab on depending on how low you grab depends on the tension you want. I'm going to place it under my left foot here. Okay. I'm going to bring my arms to 90 degrees. So hold right leg back. I'm going to drop down, come up, tricep extension. Okay. Three, two, and one tension on that arm. Drop down right knee, come up, slight hinge forward, kick back. Okay. We're going to switch halfway. I really want you to lock those elbows into place. Get ready to switch sides in three, two, and one. Let go of the tension so you don't snap yourself back into that hold. Drop that back knee. So notice that straight line from my head to heel. Ooh, we feeling this one, right? Come on. Five, four, three, two, and one. Relax. Okay, moving on. So we're going to stay in this position. We're going to switch back to our left leg. Again, finding that tension here. Let me situate that. And I want you to go into a single leg, RDL balance. And then when you're here, come into that row and then back down. Okay. Three, two, and one. 
Head and heel are connected. They're moving at the same time. Lock yourself in, row. Come back up. Control that tempo, okay? Feel that stability through your feet, that tripod on your left foot. Big toe, pinky toe, heel. One more. And let's switch sides. Okay, light tension, set yourself up, chest up, head and heel go together. Woo, gotta focus here. Okay, if you need a little modifier, okay, what I want you to do is put that kickstand behind, hinge forward, and move like that, okay? Maybe you'll add a little bit more resistance on the band. Give me one more. And time. Okay, this one's gonna be fun. It's a little bit of pulses. Maybe it won't be fun, that's why I said it like that. We're gonna take that right leg back. Arms are gonna come up in small pulses. We'll drop down together in three, two, and one. Right here. You're sitting in it. Split squat hold. Okay, I'm not coming up super high. Just right here to feel the burn, my biceps, my shoulders. Get ready to switch legs in three, in two, one. I gotta say, I'm enjoying this workout. Woo! Okay, this is good if you're on the go. You could do it at home, anywhere. Woo! Tuck your hips in. Okay, brace your core. Five, four, three, two, and time. Woo! Give those arms a second. We are here at our last one coming up. Okay, band's gonna come under the arches. I want you to take your hand inside. Inside, okay, so this is the grip right here. Thumbs are closest to you, okay? You're gonna rack it right in front of you, like by your chest, and then we're gonna squat down, cross body punch. We'll do it together, three, two, and one. So you're down, up, good. I make those noises for a reason. I want you to breathe, okay? And you're focused on making sure this arm Come straight out and in. Imagine it's going through this imaginary box. Okay, I don't want you to let that band take you. No, we're fighting the resistance. Right? If you make it look easy, that means you're doing it right. But if it doesn't feel easy, you're doing it right. Okay, you're fighting that resistance as that band is trying to pull you down. Three, two, and one. And relax. Okay. We'll have a one. Minuto break here. Grab a sip of water if you need it. So we're gonna go back. Okay, this time we're starting with those punches and we're gonna work our way back to that very first exercise. We can do this, take a second. Okay, remember, thumbs are on the inside. Boop, boop. Okay, band's coming under. We're gonna get ready to go again. All right, all by chest. If you need to switch your bands in between, go ahead and do it. Are you ready to rock? I'm ready to rock, okay. It's like this minute takes forever, but like in a good way. So get that full reset and we can hit it much, much harder. All right, we rock it out. Here we go, in five, in four, in three, in two, and one. Drop it down. Good. Come on, push it out, fight that resistance, right? We built up this routine as we went, right? So it might feel a little bit tougher, but this is a good way to push your endurance, right? Your strength endurance as you're battling it out. Good work, come on. Last couple seconds. Can we get a little more tempo? Let's go five, four, three, two, and time. Take a second, okay? Next up, we've got those pulses, right with those arms. You're going to that split squat. Inhale, exhale. We got 10 seconds. Drop that back knee down as much as you can. Shoulders drop. We go in five, four, three, two, and one. So we're down and band is up. Feel that center. Right control right here. You're stabilized. Arms are burning. We're gonna switch sides here. In five, in four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and switch. 
Place it under the arch, good control, back down. Oh, come on. Come on, money. Push. Let it burn, let it in. Soft bend in the elbow. I don't want you hyperextended. Drop it down a little bit. Come on, five, four, three, two, and one. Hmm, gently come out. Promise you, I'm right here with you, right? If it feels too easy, switch the tension of your band because I promise you, you find the right challenge. You're gonna feel that, okay? We're gonna go into our single leg RDL to row. I'm gonna go set up under my left foot. Find that right tension on there. Maybe you grab lower this time if you want more. Hinge in three, two, and go. Soft bend in the knee. Whoop, I gotta reset. See, that's the fun part and the challenge of reversing it is you don't get a chance to kind of like really settle. So as you go, let's get one more and then switch sides. Three, two, and switch, reset. Okay, I promise you if you take your time in between to reset, you'll probably get there faster. Head and heel connect and make sure you're not cheating. You stand all the way up in between, right? Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, so going back into our split squat into that tricep kickback with that 90 degree hold. So it's going back under that left foot. You're gonna start right here, okay? The tension's already on, elbows locked by side. Take that right leg back, three, two, and one. So regular lunge first, rock that. Extend back and down. So you have constant tension on this band. If it feels light or loose, I want you to challenge yourself and grab a little bit lower onto the band. Three, two, and one. Switch sides. Take it in and down. Ooh, I almost forgot. Why did it feel light? Because I didn't have the bicep hold. So if anything feels weird, check in. And the hold also keeps you in place, locked in for that kickback. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, moving back on. We've got our curtsy lunge to curl. Okay, two band is coming right in front. Place it under the left side. Remember, start racked up here. That way it's never down. Tension the whole time. Let's go. Three, two, and one. Right knee behind that left ankle. Down and curl. So notice that my front knee is still tracking. It is not leaning over, okay? I'm protecting that knee straight down. Get ready to switch sides. Three, two, and one. Okay, lower the tension in between so it doesn't snap. Place it under, lock in. Another side. Yeah, baby. I like it, I'm so proud of you. Continually pushing yourself right here. Wanting that tension, wanting that challenge. And guess what, another one's coming because we're going to the floor for the climbers. Three, two, and one. I'm gonna go down right away because it takes me a second. This is new. Find that comfortable spot on there. It is behind, around your mid back right there. You don't want it too low because it'll hit you on the neck, okay? Test it out right now, see where you're comfortable. We go into those climbers, okay? Three, two, and let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Push up, and then take your time getting into that. Good, two, four, five, seven, eight. You are more than halfway there. Okay, you use that as motivation to build up. And up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Woo! Run it out one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and time. Right here, one last one. Standing band twist. This is gonna feel good. This is like a gift now that we're flipping it, right? Feet hip width apart, rack it on your shoulders. And we're gonna go right here and you're gonna rotate side to side. Here we go, three, two, and one. Core type. And I want you to accentuate each side. Extra brace, right? This is good prep. As you go through more functional movements, you gotta remember that core has to switch on, right? That's what makes you more stable. 
That's what protects you from injury. It's a good thing. Love the core. Come on. Push it out right here. We're almost done. Okay, we came in, we warmed up, we conquered. I love it. Five, four, three, two, and one. That's it. You did the thing. Okay, we had some fun. We moved, we played. Well, it felt like playtime to me. <laughs> Hopefully it felt like playtime to you. Just having fun and challenging yourself like we used to do on the schoolyard, okay? Don't think too hard about it. Just enjoy this, enjoy the tension, enjoy the fact that you know that you have left this workout stronger and better than when you started. Can't wait till we do it again. I'll see you later.